Alright, this is our Vesicar uh, 412 that we got. Had it a month now. Didn't make a video at first. Um, just needed to sort a few things out. Got my private plate on there with my name on. Nice little van, good size. 16 inch wheels on there. Uh, steel wheels, not alloys. Don't really like alloys anyway. And we've got some bits and bobs here. We've got water pump thing there. Uh, fresh water fill up. Storage box there to get into for your batteries. Electric hookup. Vent for the heater. Cassette toilet inside there. Uh, I've actually stored the hose pipe in there as well. That's quite a big space. If I can find the key, I shall uh, have a quick show you that. So you've got a cassette toilet in there. And like I say, in the bag up there, I've just stored the uh, hose pipe, which is one of those that shrinks down. Plenty long enough to go from the water from there over to there. Underneath, you've got, you probably can't see it, but you've got your uh, fresh water drain tap under there. Get rid of these keys. You just pull down there and uh, your wastewater just comes out of there, which I did a bit of washing up earlier, so that can actually come out. So got your exhaust pipe comes out by the driver's door so you don't get any fumes up into the van nice big windows TV area real up on the roof there this is just showing you the outside now that up there is actually a big uh, sunroof that opens all up got all LED lights all round. Oh, I've just put a little uh, solar panel in there which charges up with like phone and torches and stuff like that and you've got all your dash cam and all the holders for the phones and sat nav and stuff. Around this side you've got your diesel, diesel input there. Again lights indicators on the mirrors big awning that come out there another window you got your lpg gas in there um, now when they when i collected this they said there were six kilo gas bottles can actually get two 13 kilo ones in there um, weight is a little bit heavier but it doesn't matter because on the inside you organize your stuff and get the weight distributed properly they've got nice big door there electric step so when you lock it all up um, and stuff everything goes in and out and, and uh, I'll just show you that step working hmm. dustbin there electric step goes in and out now the good thing with this one is when you start it up, if you've forgotten to put the step in, it starts beeping at you and it automatically puts it in for you. Around the back, you've got LED lights, back window. This one's actually got a tow bar on, which I will put my bike rack on there. So I've got my bicycle with me so I can... Uh, zip off to shops and stuff like that if we wanted to the only thing i did notice is this one is on the old seven pin electrics and my bike rack 13 pin i think i've got an adapter but if not i'll just change the plug over to a 13 pin because the 
bike rack's got lights on it with a reverse light as well. Up here, you've got brake light and you've got the double camera system, which I've set up. So the main one is acting as your reversing mirror when driving along, which you can turn off at night because it gets a bit bright or you can turn the lights down. Um, the other one I've got pointing down, down to the ground here or slightly behind so when you're reversing up it is your reversing camera so you don't go into anything like I say best car 412 little two berths perfect size me and Pippa and uh, that is the outside I'll show you around the inside on another video or oh, actually I might go and do it now depending where Pippa is let's go and have a look I think she's probably just sleeping in her bed so on the inside you've got your door your step you've got a big window I've got Pippa's towel there hanging there so I can clean her feet before we get in and out you've got a blind pull up at night block stuff out uh, this come up the step again got my mat on the floor try and keep some of the dirt out especially going in and out with Pippa all the time just pull this door up now on this side of the door there is a um, fly screen pulls across the only thing I did notice is when you have the door open it does lock into place uh, on the outside but there was massive gust of wind um, the other day and that did actually come and slammed shut so uh, you can lock it whilst you're in here up the top here you've got your control panel view all your levels control everything um, stuff like that and check what your batteries are doing leisure battery vehicle battery water levels um, that's your waste water tells you when you've got some in when it's filling up that one's your fresh water you got a defrost here in the winter if you want to warm your water up a bit so it doesn't freeze up outside because the water tanks obviously on the outside underneath the van you got your water pump get all your taps and your toilet flushing main power view levels cab light some reminder stickers for myself there for what I'm supposed to be doing up here we got carbon monoxide and smoke detector all fitted there this side is your control panel for heating water um, turning the gas to electric and then and you can set up the heating and the water to come on whenever you want as well it's a timer uh, which is good and um, if you're getting cold in the night, you can just turn that on. Loads of lights in this van all over the place. Again, all LED. Got some up here. Got lights all up there. Lights around there. Lights in the front. Lights up there. Again, I've got stuff hanging everywhere at the minute. Turn the lights back off. This side's got nice kitchen area I'll just step back, back a bit so you can see so we got fridge down here notepad I'm just writing some stuff out got TV microwave clock DVD CD player I've just put up there it does connect into the telly second monitor over this side for the DVD so if you're sitting here and you don't fancy looking around to that side you can have it on there as well but you can connect it up and it plays six speaker cds instead if you can't be bothered walking right to the front to put cds on or your usb music so here we got a nice little <coughs> got your cooker behind here got, me. got your oven again i've just chucked some stuff in there to get out of the way and you got a grill here um, you got three ring burner on gas the oven and the grill is gas 
in the top here you got three gas and one electric uh, so again just been using the electric because we're all hooked up on the electric takes the kettle a little bit longer to boil because I've got the old camping uh, camping kettle uh, that's your window for your back and you've got all the um, all the blinds some blind, uh, fly screen blinds and uh, blackout blinds for at night time you got nice splashback that is around there and the good thing about this splashback is I don't know if you can see that in the daylight but it's got all lights around it as well and again you've got lights up top here turn, it, turn that on and off for you so you can see it then we've got fire blanket up there just in case then we've got some nice nice big cupboards in here and the good thing about this one is it goes right the way around the back there which we've got a load of stuff in you've got a bit, another big cupboard in here with all stuff in it I don't know what I did. Ooh, shut that back up and what I did find handy B&M bargains little basket a couple of quid put some stuff in there and I put another one in the shower up there and when you drive along done a good 500 miles all shower gels even these are the big ones as well they all just stand in there don't move anywhere again velcroed on so it has got a thing in here to let water out if you get the water in there but that's only velcroed on take it off clean it out water out make sure there's no water there same with that one velcroed on and the little pot you can take that off you probably see the velcro just sticking out a bit underneath there you can take it all off so you can clean everything and you've got all the uh, lights in here you've got lights up top there lights in the shower skylight roof vent let all the uh, steam out you don't want all steam in there <coughs> um I did put got a uh, towel rail there washing hanging on it um but i did put up another one this side so you've got hand towel as well as your bath towel and around this side you got to put hooks up everywhere as well hang stuff up <laughs> and um got the old toilet roll holder there Staying my dressing gown back on that one. Got another hook on the back of this door. Door does lock, but I don't know why you'd want to lock it. There's only me and Pippa, but there might be you and somebody else as well, but I don't think they're going to come in and get you. Especially if I'm in the toilet. And uh, got a massive mirror on the wardrobe there. We have got second smoke alarm here. And the second carbon monoxide one up there. You got speakers all in the roof for the stereo. That 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 one, these ones, not hooked up to my CD player though, because a bit old fashioned. Still got some CDs at the moment. Um, because this uh, this one here it doesn't play CDs. So um, this is a USB thing or Bluetooth, and at the moment. I ain't got any uh, music on my phone or on a stick, so uh, just chuck the old CDs in at the moment. So, um, yeah, I've got more speakers in the doors and in the in the sides there and stuff. Speakers everywhere. Um, and that is, oh, more lights. Look, we've got more lights up here as well. More lights everywhere. Oh, I'll tell you what was really handy. Well, it's really, really handy at night when you first come in. You've got your lights to that automatically actually come on up the top there, so you can turn your control panels on. But what else you got? Is some little lights on the floor. And I've got this in the way just to stop the door banging. But you've got little lights on the floor there as well. Really handy if you don't want to come in and just automatically turn all your lights on because. You just come in, flick that, 
like I say, them ones are on automatic. Then you can take all your shoes off, get sorted out uh, before you do anything else. So, um, yeah, cool. Lights absolutely everywhere. See, whilst we're at it, we're just going to turn this, turn this heating down a bit. I just turned it on because it was raining and I've got that in there. So you press that on that one. That one's turned down. That heat, that water's been on for ages. We'll just turn that water off for a minute as well. And that is basically the inside of the van. You've got to plug sockets, cigarette lighters for your USB stuff, heaters all around the floor. And you've got another down here. Right, that one's 240. And that, that one I put in which is to the inverter so you got inverter one two inverter sockets behind the tv there and then if you're on this side you've got an inverter one there so you can plug in your plug in the laptop or whatever you want to plug in over that side um and that pippa's wondering what we're doing aren't you pip you're still sitting down there in your bed oh it's so tiring isn't it so tiring. We'll go out again in a bit. We'll go out for a walk after. Yeah. Not yet, though. <laughs> the sun's coming back out again now. Probably stick all that washing back out on the air. Got these uh, handy, this. Handy air. Hangs on the window on the outside there. Put some socks and pants out to dry. Excellent. I think I'm going to get a cup of tea and just put that washing back out in the sun. Thanks for joining me today. And remember, God wins. So may God the Creator always be with you. Don't forget to like and subscribe. It's completely free.